by Jetanarian versus Santo and Bumaki. Double and, Falcon. And the Captain Falcon Luftfahren, which we <laughs> just saw on screen. I wish to see that in this game. The Luft A lot Fawn. of them. Let's see how many Luftfahrens we can get. <laughs> Okay, 26% already racked up onto Santo who finds himself off stage. That beginning looking a lot better from what you Oh my god. Probably due to the shield button now working. Oh, oh. the F smash just yeah, goes for F smash into immediate down smash right afterwards. Maybe expecting a roll, maybe just wanting to press buttons. Oh, that down there could have been disastrous for Moise and Narayan. Yeah, so far the percent advantage, of course, going to the broader she combo. Yeah, definitely. Though it is about confirming oh. the kills. Speaking of, catching him slipping. Moitrich sliding into those DMs and sending Bumuki a high there. <laughs> oh, I think we saw the first attempt to get a Luftform there from Bumuki. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bumuki just shooting it out. Okay, he wants to go for the F-Smash as a hard punish on the Bouncing Fish, expecting Moitrich to dive right back in with the Drift. Uh, another one of those knee, also known as the Luftform. Okay. Yeah, Moitrich and Narayan so far honestly looking pretty dominant. Santo on the 163% now. Oh, back from the Bouncing Fish? Oh, of course. Next stray hit will likely kill him. Oh, it's oh, nice spot, spot touching the downbeam immediately, yeah. Unfortunately, only getting the first hit of Nair, not quite expecting that and getting punished for it. Oh, it's Santo dying to a dash attack from me, brother! That thing packs a punch, or rather packs a kick for that matter. Okay, and... Uh, I think every time we see the game slow down a little bit, that goes into favor of Narayan and White, which I think Santo and Bumuki thrive in the chaotic environment. Yeah. In a little bit more YOLO environment. Yeah, if you give them a little bit too much space, a little bit too much comfort, they will go for the synergy, they will have protection from the other team. <laughs> just really? do it! Just do Oh my god, he, he actually just did it. He just walked up to the Sheik who was about to down tilt and he just F smashed her. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. You can get this elbow, man. Okay, Santo being. Off stage yet again, finds himself in a bad spot, but Bumuki covers him, staying on the ledge. But Santo going for another one of those F smashes. This man has a C stick put onto Smash. Now, oh, full rage Bumuki there, <laughs> almost getting a kill on the Raptor boost at like 40%. That's 40%, and you already went all the way up to the blast zone. Dude, if, if I was in uh, Moitrix's shoes right now, I would be so scared for yeah. my life. Just sit now here to the front, man. I can't deal with this stuff. And both of them almost have full rage. Yeah. Watch, where you're, watch your step, man. Oh, Afro, of course, not going to kill uh, but, yet. But, of course, Moitrich and Arian completely controlling the stage right now. Yeah, but that, this cat Falk is just not dying. Oh, no! No, Santo! He wanted the elbow, he got it. Was it what you wanted, yes. Santo? Sometimes you just need to hit it. Doesn't matter who. Yeah, but <laughs> is it really worth it, though? Another one of those F smashes. Does he die for it? He dies for it. That's, that's how it goes. That's a really good punish, like short hopping over it and then getting the back air was actually good awareness from Naria. Yeah, it, it was close to not killing though. Like, maybe he knew the percentages, maybe he was just throwing it out because it was the best thing to work at the time. Alright, now we are going for down throw into up air. Bumoki eyeing it on the down throw. He could have gone for a 50 50 up B follow up onto Bumoki. Bumoki grabbing him. Oh, oh god! Oh. Sent right upwards. Moitrich on his last stock. But so are the two Captain Falcons here on their last stock. F smash! 90%. Wow, that's like the fifth or sixth F smash we've seen this round. It's, <laughs> I mean, uh, it's probably more than that, man. He has thrown out more F smashes than Bumuki has let oh us no. in his name. That's it for Bumuki. Santos in a one on two situation against three stocks. He Fearlessly like, going in. Probably he's like 15 F smashes away from a window. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Soon it's before. Soon it's gonna be 14. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Not like this though. Oh, we're all the way bow down to 14. And it's so hard to play. We're, it to we're getting closer. Sheik. Oh, still 14. Oh, oh 13. We're getting there. The mind game. The positioning and the short hop indicated that he wanted to two frame Narayan, and then he just goes for the dash grab back throw. Oh. oh! Catches him with the DI mix up and the taunt right afterwards to boot. Now Jan is out of things to drink. So is, there, is there actually liquid in this bottle? No, it's empty. It's empty, yeah. I was about to say, if he's going to pretend to drink out of that empty bottle, I'm going to call him out for that. You know, Th that's like the awkward, I have no water in my bottle. Yeah, but, there's taking a sip but, anyway. but you need, if you start at the nodding and drinking, you, <laughs> need to, you need to go all the way, you can't stop. Yeah. So, so I wonder oh, when we'll he's see He's got a backup, he's got a backup. Yeah, yeah, I'm wondering if we're going to see a nod here. No, we're probably not. 
Oh, there he is, so many more again. Enjoying the, the camera off the crowd, and here I am. Oh, hello there. Both of these players, Captain Falcon players, looking so chill. Like, yeah. if I hit all his elbows, I would be so hype, and he's there just l leaning to, to back. To be fair, he lost. I would be like that too. Like, of oh. course, you can be happy about the elbows, but be sad about the loss. Okay. Also, why are you going back to final Run destination? Run back to final destination. That's this is just insane. about pride at this point, isn't it? Because I can't imagine them saying, okay, this is the best stage for us in this current scenario. Maybe they were confident uh, in what they did wrong, and they're confident to win the next time on the stage. So some there's already a good amount of percentage on both of these Captain Falcons. Yeah, some stray hits being thrown out left and right. Santo just with the run-up up smash. That's a mix-up. I'm not going to F-smash you, I'm going to up smash you. Yeah, it actually catches spot dodge. Are we going to call him smart for that, though? I don't know. No, absolutely. I mean, he... Oh. Wow! <laughs> Mookie there taking, taking a, uh, like a page out of the book of his teammate there and getting the yeah. F-smash as the landing punish. That was great. Yeah, he was expecting now to just press any button. Press any button on me and you will die. And he died. I dare you. Yeah, he, he pressed the button. I know you like to press the button. You're a me brawler. Yeah, Mort is playing the offstage game. So oh. It, oh, no. <laughs> oh, but, but he still got the peach, though. Oh, one of the 37% on the Tanto. He's offstage now. You have to be careful with whatever he does. Okay, now we are in a bad spot. Throws out the Nair, the Me Brawler Classic. It's like playing Yoshi or Luigi. Just press the A button. And it's so difficult to stay on the stage against like this Moitkish right now. He's he's always always getting you out of the stage. And of course, Narayan's also playing a really good game right now. But I feel yeah. like a lot of the percent advantage that they get right now is from one person almost constantly being out of the fight due to yeah. Moitkish players. He's, really the, he's the one creating the stage control for this team. And right now he's trying to take a little bit of stray hits towards Santo to just free his teammate from the pressure. And now Falcons have taken center stage back. Oh, he tries to go for the F smash onto Moisrich, but he doesn't catch it. On going for an aggressive option out of the hit lag. Pretty even game so far. Oh, nice turbo grab there from Santo. Okay, they are sandwiched, but at the same time they have stage control. Oh, the up B? Yeah, he sends him out all the way. Four stocks against three, though. The next stock onto no no Narayan. Up. Is he going to die? Oh, the down throw mix up. Narayan, the eyeing in almost getting hit by the up air as a follow up. Oh, yeah, that's four. Oh, up he throw. might die from up throw now. Okay, he goes for half throw. Unfortunately, Santo could have pressed back there, but didn't quite uh, press it fast enough. Oh, they're gonna be still combo, alive. Though. Oh, Narayan is not, though. Dying at 180% off the side. Oh, nice, nice tech. tech. Yeah. That's a good start right back into things. I feel like both of these Falcons are looking for a kill on Moitrich a little bit too oh much. Oh no, Santo dove right into there. He wanted to save his teammate, but he was caught in the crossfire instead. Alright, and now we have last stock for both these teams. Though, of course, the Falcon team is looking a little bit worse. Oh yeah, now we are... Uh, no regrets. He died the one time by pressing there out of the down air hit lag. But this time he doesn't regret it. Now we have smash follow up. Now we are not in kill percentages. Oh, Mois is going for the cheeky up either. Oh. Doesn't quite get it. Nice okay. up smash. But Minari on there. Yeah, there was, a, there was a little bit of team fire going on. Friendly fire. We tried to go for the down air reset, giving Mois a good. Okay, what was that? That was too hard of a commitment, Santo. You can do that in these scenarios. Well, maybe then it's. At the least expected, right? Yeah, but you can react to that, right? Yeah, you're you, right. you might get you might get one, and I'm the other gets you. I'm just playing here. <laughs> oh, then we send some off, find some, some off stage. No, it's a legendary comeback going to happen. Now we close it back off. Yeah, that is the punishment. You miss every shot you don't take. Santo is definitely taking the shot, but I think oh he had the double jump, but <laughs> doesn't doesn't drop quite down bouncing fish. This is. Oh, this is best of five apparently, because okay. none of these guys are standing up. That's right. <laughs> so, so it seems like all of top eight is going to be best of five. Okay. Uh, now I'm actually wondering uh, if we're going to see a character switch from Mumuki here. I don't think we're going to see a character switch from Santo. But yeah, definitely not. I feel like we're, uh, what we're seeing here is so much offstage play. And of course, mm -hmm. I mean, you can get a nice spike, but I don't think I've seen any proper spikes here from 
CF yet, and it's so difficult to do against Sheik too. And you've noticed that Narayan doesn't really seem to be going for edge guards at all. He leaves all of that tomorrow till she covers the like the very edge of the stage. I'm not gonna let you back up. That that's his model right now. Yeah, okay. No counter switch apparently. Like with every stock they've taken, they got a little bit closer to Glorious Glory's victory. So it seems they are confident that this time they're getting close enough for the victory itself and not just the taste. Oh, what's gonna happen here? <laughs> oh, shit pokes him with the shot put. Oh, this shield is getting dangerously, dangerously tiny for Bumuki. Right. Some classic percent just being wrecked up, both team members comboing the opponent that is free and available. I feel like neutral game right now is... Oh, oh there we go! <laughs> He just up tilts him right down to the bottom of Palutena's temple. Back to Earth you go! This chair rope is going back to Earth, yeah. maybe even down to Hell. And Narayan so far hasn't really taken much percentage yet. Yeah. Santa looking to change that. Yeah, starting right here, this is where it all starts for them. Oh, back end to back end, no further connection. Just hit both of them, right? Just hit both of them. They can't punish you if you hit both of them. A nice down smash punish that actually covers uh, both of the drifts forward and backwards after the ball up beat. Uh, Bumuki losing his double jump, going high. Sancho helping out there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he was helping out, alright. Helping out for the blue team, more or less. Now he goes for the road. Santo coming back up, securing a little bit of stage control back. Oh, Bumuki getting hit out by the sneaky Nair of the Mibuala. Santo at 150% full rage. Oh, no punish on a dash tech from Nayat from Santo. He's dropping his shield. Yeah, he's out. No DI on that. He didn't expect it. There it is. The, the Santo elbow. I mean, it's, it's helped him so much so far. I mean, yeah, it's, it's helped him secure some kills, but some on his teammate too. Okay, uh, like no, one yeah. or one or two. It's a chaotic game. Everybody's in here playing free for all. And so just like that. It's so unfortunate, <laughs> actually, that Santo was just being comboed by Sheik right there, because I think he could have helped secure that kill. <laughs> there is another throw. Bumuki just throwing Santo right into Bumuki's <laughs> into Moisik, saying, "Here, take my oh, team." Fight them. And from not quite killing yet. Bumuki looking for an edge oh. guard gets a stomp, but unfortunately, that's not the character who's gonna die from it. Oh, the gentleman is not taking out Narayan just yet. Oh, Bumuki looking for that air dodge. The up air? Yeah, that is going to take it. 170% Narayan losing his first stock. Narayan, interestingly enough, being the stock tank in this team. And the Sheik is available. Of course, Sheik mostly playing front line here. Putting himself into the dangerous spot where she is the one in the focus and losing the stocks. Okay, there was Bumuki being thrown over to Narayan, but he missed his opportunity. Oh, Whoa, both of them getting hit there by the up beam. Yeah, the hit lag of the last hit was lasting long enough that Bumuki was also getting hit by it. Up smash out of shield! Yes, it is! And here we go! Oh, no bouncing fish. He could have gone for the up out of shield too, but it seems he was confident in the grab follow-up. What a strong game from both of these Narayan and Moitri right now. That's so good, yeah. If Moitri isn't, isn't very careful with his next stock... Okay, what was I say? If he isn't careful with this, it's going to be back to even. Watch the step, Moitrich. One, two, three, and he's out. Coming back, though. They are focusing onto Narayan. One of them. Oh, oh down tilt. He bounces off the ledge. And now Narayan of 110%. Oh, Santo going for the infamous aimbow. Oh, I was about to say, if Santo goes to up smash out of shit, he might take the stock from Narayan. No, though I'm not sure if the end leg would have connected. And so much hinges right now on Narayan staying alive, not dropping this stock. This stock is so yeah. important for them. But even with him being on this very dangerous situation, he's not letting up any of his aggression. He's being the front line now. Oh, that bouncing fish. Oh, Bumuki diving right past him, reversing the RP, taking Scenario back a little bit. Oh, Santo being combo 140% for this man now. If you don't get rid of Narayan now, it's going to be very hard for you to take anything back. Afro, Narayan goes for the dash grab but misses. Oh, Bumuki pummeling a little bit too long. Up tilts him out, wrong hitbox though. Such good play from Moitlis. He's gathering so much attention even in this situation right now. And now, oh, now we can kill. And now we can go back. Now this Afro is not going to kill from Bumuki. But now this is the first time Bumuki is actually the Falcon in the 2v1. Even though he's already at kill percent. Oh, well, characters. speaking of kill percent, he's out. This is a clean 3-0. Oh. 
Really nice play here by Marcus and Naoyan. Yeah, towards the end, Santo and Bumuki really upped it up a little bit. Like, if they could have taken that stock from Naoyan, he was at the front line. If they have taken that stock, it could have been either way. Yeah, and then even then it would probably still be a like one-two result, which means you still need to win two games on the enemy's counter. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's, it's yeah. momentum. Captain Falcon momentum. Yeah. You love that. Some elbows there as well. Some, uh, yeah, some elbows. No Falcon Punch actually from Santo. I think that's a Santo yeah, classic. Maybe, maybe he, he goes a little bit calm. I don't know. Ah, well. I mean, if you're going to play Captain Falcon, you, yeah. need to, you need to have a little bit of that, of that recklessness inside of you. Yeah, of course. But then again, how much recklessness are you willing to give? Like, how many elbows? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> at one point or another, you're going to think, no, they won't expect it this time, right? They won't expect it. Sooner or later, they will catch off. They, oh, oh, okay. That's what you wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right about that. Um, I'm wondering, actually, if the match could have gone any different and why they kept on playing the double Falcon. I'm guessing it's a thing that they decided, hey, let's go double Falcon in this bracket. Yeah. But I think towards the end, uh, the Sheik dominance was just a little bit too much. And the next game, we're going to see Ike and Quick right now on the screen with Siphon Purple H as their opponent. This is a winner's semi-final. Yeah. Well, on Team Calyptus, the other stream, you can watch Jay Miller and Afro smash against Schlager and Lango, but I hope you're gonna stay here, because Ike and Quick yeah. are a really cool team, but Scythe and Purple Age, as you said already, probably one of the best teams, if not the best team in Europe right now. Yeah. I'm like, wondering if the crowd can hear us right now. I think they can hear us. Can you make some noise for this winner semi-final at Respawn 5? <laughs> okay, now I always wanted to do this. If anybody here thinks that Purple Age and Cypher are going to win. Raise your hands and shout. No, nobody? <laughs> so now the other side. What about Oik and Quick? Oh, that's some strong resonance. I think that was the people from Hessen showing up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that this was about as close as the next match is going to be. Yeah, I sure hope it's going to be as close as it sounded. I see, I've seen Quick and Oik earlier playing, and I think CSS is very difficult as a teammate to adapt yes. to. You're going to need to practice that. You, yeah. you, but I've seen them do a lot of cheeky and good stuff, and especially like, Quick's playstyle is really great. But yeah. he, he has a weak matchup against Diddy Kong with his character. Yeah. And Scythe, a, a he is... Not just like a person, but also a very character-specific No, matchup. I was talking about the character. Yeah. Uh, but, but someone has also the personal matchup against Scythe himself. That there's a rivalry. There's a great rivalry yeah. about number two Germany against number one Germany. Yeah, and, and these guys go way back to Brawl. <laughs> they go way back. I like guess it's been like five years at, at least. Uh, probably more than that even. <laughs> We've been here for a while on this standing. So I, I would assume that we're going to be seeing, of course, the Sheik from Oik. Then I'm not sure if there's going to be a Mario or a ZSS from Brick. Um, I don't think Quick really wants to play much of Mario anymore. I recently talked to him and he said, yeah, sure, I did win against Diddy Kong with Mario a few times, but I don't think it's worth it. That's what he said. Uh, he said he, he doesn't want to win if it's not with CSS. Okay, interesting. Which, does that also count for doubles, though? I don't know, honestly. I, because oh. this Mario has, been, has had a showing at Salt and doubles. Did it? Yeah. Well, that was after he told me that, so... Okay. okay. <laughs> so there we go. And on the other side, of course, Purple H, why is there a reason for him not to pick Cloud? Yeah, <laughs> and Slife has a Bayonetta and a Diddy Kong. I expect the Diddy Kong. Banana is his tag. Okay, well, guess what he is going to pick? Bayonetta. <laughs> yeah, because he goes bananas with her. Yeah, definitely. So this is the first winner semi-final. We're also going to see the second winner semi-final on Geeky Dune Squad here. Yes. guys picking their characters on um, the state striking pro procedure is soon going to begin. Now let me tell you something about Saif, right? Now we know Saif as top player, as number one Germany, but we know what he also likes to do? Game one counter picking. Oh really? Yeah, actually, um, as there's been a lot of instances, I've been told, where he picks a character and then the enemy picks a character. He's like, no, I'm not playing that match. Yeah, up. okay. He's, he's a grimy guy. I, I, I heard that. Well, now maybe he just really wants to win, and I, I think he wins a lot, so it must work, yeah, that, right? That, that's a strategy <laughs> that you can pull out. Like, people, if you listen to this, there is, there is double blind pick. Respect that. Use it. I don't know. Just don't get counterpicked on your first game. What the hell? Oh, and finally we're going to see, after the last three games, we're going <laughs> to see a game that does not get played out on Omega. Yeah, I would... Yeah, I wouldn't expect Battlefield, yeah, that, that was Yeah, like the idea. pick from Simon Purple Age 